it was an exciting weekend in sports and for all the highlights we turned to of course Sonny Young and the Sunny Side of Sports and I know Sonny it seems like marathons are now the same as saying a Kenyan is winning. They've right? had an incredible year. <laughs> it's <Dibby>. amazing. <laughs> the Kenyans have done it again. Sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Yes the Kenyans have dominated the major marathons this year and they ran to victory again in New York City. Kenya's Jeffrey Mutai set a course record in winning the New York City Marathon Sunday, clocking two hours, five minutes, and six seconds. Mutai took more than two and a half minutes off the previous course record. It was the second big victory of the year for Jeffrey Mutai. In April, he won the Boston Marathon. There we see Jeffrey putting his arms up in victory. In the women's race in New York, Ethiopians Firwat Dadu and Buzanesh Deba crossed the finish line 1-2. And in terms of the prize money in New York, the men's winner, Jeffrey Mutai, won $200,000 for that victory and course record. Turning to tennis, let me twirl my trusty Wilson racket for Roger Federer. The Swiss star won another tournament with his latest title coming in his hometown of Basel. Federer defeated Japan's Kai Nishikori in straight sets 6-1 and 6-3 to win the Swiss indoors event for the fifth time in six years. After the final, Federer praised his Japanese opponent. I knew that he has the game because I've practiced with him before. He's got enough power, he's got enough speed, and he'll be one of the, you know, the great talents you know, to look for in the next few years. And that's why I'm very happy that the way I was able to play today, uh, from start to finish, uh, it was my, the best match of the tournament so far. And obviously in the finals to save best for last is, is, is great. The win in Basel was the 68th career title for Roger Federer who has won more Grand Slam singles championships, 16, than any player in history. Finally, some sad sports news to report. Former World Heavyweight Boxing Champion Smokin' Joe Frazier is seriously ill with liver cancer. He was diagnosed four or five weeks ago and is under hospice care in Philadelphia where he has a boxing gym. Smoke and Joe visited our VOA headquarters a few years ago, and one of my big thrills was getting a chance to meet Frazier. Smoke and Joe was the first man to beat Muhammad Ali, knocking Ali down 40 years ago. He then lost to Ali the next two times they fought in epic fights. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to Demi. Thank you so much, Sonny, for the good and the bad news. We wish him well. Well, uh, as always, Sunny Young joins us every Monday and Friday here on In Focus, always with the latest sports news.